you know, Poisson random variable is a limiting case of binomial random variable. In the binomial random variables, when we say that the size parameter is very large and the success probability is very small, we say that we approximate these Poisson random variables with the binomial random variable. Okay. And we are exactly going to uh, say a similar situation just we have uh, said in the previous uh, page. If I have a Poisson random variable, x1 with rate parameter lambda 1, and another Poisson random variable with rate parameter x lambda 2, and these random variables, these Poisson random variables are independent from each other, just like this definition, then the sum of these two Poisson random variables gives us what it gives us another Poisson random variable with rate parameter lambda 1 plus lambda 2. Okay, so let me explain this situation to you. Imagine now the people are entering a post office. The customers are entering in a post office. And imagine now the people who are entering are behaving independent from each other. Okay. Now I am speaking with the man. If you see a beautiful girl, for example, and if you just trace her, uh, and if the girl enters the post office, of course, when you enter the post office behind that girl, I mean, the, your entrance is not going to be independent, right? I'm not speaking about this situation. Every customer behaves independently. So whenever they would like to enter, it depends on them, okay? So let's just say X1 is the number of male customers, male customers who are entering in the following hour in our post office, and X2 is the number of female customers in the following are in the post office. So let's just say the number of male customers who are going to enter is a Poisson random variable with average lambda 1. So remember the rate parameter was also equal to the average value or the expected value in Poisson distribution. And X2 is the number of women who are entering in the post office in the following hour which is a Poisson random variable with rate parameter lambda 2, and the entrances of men are independent from the entrances of women. That is because I have given that stupid example to you. I mean, if you follow a beautiful girl uh, into a post office after her, if you enter, your entrance is not going to be dependent, of course. I, I, I'm sorry, independent. Okay, so people are behaving independent here. In that case, the total number of people, either male or female, is going to be represented by y in the following R, and it is going to be also a Poisson random variable with rate parameters summed up, the rate parameter being equal to the sum of the marginal rate parameters. So actually, this can be generalized to multiple Poisson random variables as well. So in, imagine now, I mean, we are talking about two genders here in this example, but imagine now, Instead of genders, we are speaking with the eye colors, okay? So different people may have different eye colors. So let's just say X1 is a Poisson random variable with rate parameter lambda 1. X2 is another Poisson random variable with rate, two para uh, rate parameter lambda 2, so on and so forth. So we have multiple Poisson random variables like that, which are independent from each other, but they all have different respective rate parameters, so they are not identical. They are just independent, but they are not necessarily identical. In that case, the sum of these Poisson random variables will also be a Poisson random variable, and its rate parameter will be equal to the summation of all rate parameters. So imagine now X1 is the number of customers with a blue eye color. X2 is the number of customers with a black eye color. X3 is the number of customers with a brown eye color. X4 is the number of customers with a hazel eye color, so on and so forth. Okay, so in that case, the total number of customers who enter the post office is going to be another Poisson random variable with rate parameter being equal to the sum of marginal rate parameters. However, there should be independence between these people as well. Now, you see the expected value of a Poisson random variable is lambda i, which is also equal to the variance of it. And if you want to calculate the expected value of the sum of these Poisson random variables, 
or the variance of this sum of these Poisson random variables, again, you are going to get the sum of the rate parameters in both cases. So expectation of the sum is equal to the sum of individual expectations, which is going to be the sum of the rate parameters. And similarly, variance of the sum is equal to the sum of the variances plus the covariance terms in the upper and lower triangular part of the covariance matrix. However, since these Poisson random variables are independent, these covariances are simply zero. And therefore, this summation is equal to the summation of rate parameters again. Now, this is going to be the final question that I would like to solve now. And the remaining part of this presentation file is going to be covered in the restation hour tomorrow. Remember now, we are going to have our exam in the theoretical hour. How long it takes, I do not know. But just after the exam, I am going to start the theoretical course immediately. I'm not going to wait for the restation. And the tomorrow's lecture is just going to be after the exam, Okay, whenever it ends. Now, to a bus stop, average arrival rate of male passengers is three passengers per minute, and the average arrival rate of female passengers is five passengers per minute. Maybe the women are using that bus stop more frequently than men. We do not know. I mean, there is a higher average arrival rate for women. Maybe in that district, the number of female people living are, are larger, maybe because of that reason. For example, maybe there is a a female dormitory there, okay? At that location, at that district, there's a female dormitory, okay? If the arrivals are independent and follow Poisson distribution, what is the probability that at most three passengers arrive in the following minute? So we have the number of arrivals of male passengers, which is a Poisson random variable with rate parameter three, and X2 is the number of Poisson arrivals that belong to female passengers with the average rate parameter five female passengers per minute. So lambda one is three male passengers for, per minute and lambda two is five female passengers per minute. The question is asking me a probability related to the total number of passengers. So it says what is the probability that at most three passengers arrive in the following minute? So it is actually making us define another random variable, which is the sum of x1 plus x2 that is equal to the total number of passengers that is arriving in the following minute. And the rate parameter of x is going to be equal to 8 because it is the sum of two independent Poisson random variables. And the question asks me for a Poisson random variable with rate parameter equal to 8. What is the probability of it to be at most three, which is probability of x being less than or equal to three. And that probability, my friends, is what we are basically going to sum up the probability mass functions of the Poisson random variable from zero to three. That is going to be e to the power minus lambda times lambda to the power x over x factorial, where we replace x from zero to three and sum up, and lambda is going to be equal to eight. And plugging in these values, you get a probability of 0 0.0424. Okay, 